Hey, this is Andrew here with Chemical Concepts. Uh, I'm going to be demoing and uh, doing a little instructional video on our UV stone repair kit. Um, this is the kit right here. It comes with all these items. It comes with a, uh, a UV compound that's used to fill and repair chips, gouges, and scratches. Um, comes with uh, these curing sheets and also some straight razors. And uh, comes with these polishing packs and a nice little UV flashlight. Uh, that you could use for actually uh, curing the adhesive. Uh, so we've got a piece of granite here. I've, I've put in some big dings and scratches. If you can see right here, this is a, a repair that we just did a second ago. Uh, looks pretty good. There's a, a scratch here, and then here's a pretty big gouge. I actually took a hatchet to that, so we'll see how we'll do this one and see how that comes out. So the first thing I did, I did this off camera because I don't have a blower here, but I just took an air blower and just, or you can use canned air and, and just got some of the dust out of there. The first thing we're going to do, I'm just going to take some alcohol and just clean up the, clean up the area. Make sure there's no oils or debris or dust that's going to interfere with the bonding of the UV 386, which is our the Chemset UV386, which is our repair compound. And that's going to flash off quickly, too. Now, the one thing you'll notice here is our kit, this Pro Kit here, comes with a large 50 mil bottle. So other UV kits on the market are going to come with 2 milliliter syringes. Sometimes you'll get 6 of them or more. So if you get 6 of them, okay, that's 12 milliliters. This is almost 5 times as much material at, at a comparable cost. So it's much better value with our kit versus some others on the market. So I'm just going to generously uh, fill this gouge here. And the, the UV repair kits, you might have seen some super glue based ones where you have a spray accelerator, it's a two part um, on the market. Those are good products. Um, the one issue that people have from time to time is on certain stones, um, your Delicatus, your new Venetian golds, some of your lighter stones, your cashmere, um, you, you can get an effect that's called bloom or blossom where you actually see a green uh, blob where the repair was done. So a lot of people have moved to have started using UV repair kits which since there's no accelerator there's no possibility of that happening. So then we just take our curing sheet and we just put that on top and that prevents the glue from sticking to the flashlight and gives us a nice level surface to work with. And I'll do an okay job at this. You'll have to forgive me people at home because uh, I'm not a stone fabricator, I'm a glue salesman. But I can kind of hack my way through this. So then you shine this light on here. I'm going to shine on this here for probably about a minute. And this is a pretty small repair. This will fit under the under the flashlight. So I'm just going to sit it on there and rest it. Uh, if it was a bigger repair, you might have to keep it moving or, or buy a, a larger UV lamp. Um, you could buy all different sizes of uh, UV lamp equipment. Um, so yeah, so we're going to do... Uh, I'm going to put this on here it's about a minute. This is a higher power flashlight. It kind of depends on what kind of flashlight you use. Sometimes it takes up to three minutes. I'm not using my stopwatch here, but let's see where we're at. Where do you think we're at, cameraman? We're about, about a minute. We're at about a minute. So let's just, I'm just going to check on it. Yep, so that's, uh, it's been a minute. We're fully cured here. I'm not sure whether we might even just speed through that for the sake of the video, but. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't know if you can get that. Maybe the UV will actually help uh, you see it. Maybe not. But bottom line is, and another important point there is, this is a UV lamp. UV rays are harmful to your eyes, so try and wear protective glasses, or at least just don't you know look away, don't stare directly at the light while you're using it. Now, typically, uh, a straight razor is used uh, at a perpendicular angle so to not try and pull up the adhesive uh, and it's usually done like this in a back and forth motion try and get some different sides um, some some stone fabrication supply places sell this little handy tool which holds a bunch of straight razors 
like this stiff and uh, this is a great little tool we actually don't sell these but this is pretty neat you can get this from your local uh, fabrication supply house And then here, this is the grunt work here, just kind of leveling it down. As you can see, I took quite a bit off, and I'll just keep going until this is uh, totally level and I've taken off all the excess. If you're a bit more skilled than me, you maybe would have put a little less on to begin with. As you can see, we've taken quite a bit of it off. And this tool is good for getting the bulk of it. I'll probably do the fine work with just a single razor blade manually, get a bit more control. Starting to look a little bit better here. Just got a little bit of excess still on there. Okay, so I got most of it. I don't know, can you see that there? So this is where the repair is. Still got a little dust on that, but starting to look pretty good and if you if you when you're get a little bit too aggressive or sometimes you might just looks like I actually pulled a little bit of it out there sometimes it'll take more than one application if I were really trying to make this look perfect I would probably just put another little dab right there because I started to lift it a little bit but so then what you would do it comes with these polishing packs so I'm just gonna take one of these and put it on a paper towel it's fine if you have a lint free cloth that's probably better we know most fabricators out there are probably going to use a paper towel I'm just going to work that in there and then just kind of blend it in with the surrounding area so it doesn't just jump right out at you And you can get these at chemical-concepts.com or for one of our many fine distributors. You can go on our website for more details. Chemical-concepts.com OK, 
Okay, so let's see. Can the camera pick up uh, the repair now? It's right here. So, if you were to back up, zoom out just a little bit, you'd probably never pick that out walking past. All right, well, thank you for tuning in. Hopefully you learned something. And uh, if you've used similar products in the past, hopefully you'll consider our uh, chip repair kit, uh, this, the UV-1. Again, for the people that are used to the traditional two-part with the spray activator, uh, we actually just came out with a new spray activator, which is the, uh, um, the new Chemset Stone Tac which is actually a spray activator. It's designed uh, to lessen, uh, it's designed to avoid that, that green bloom. So we've got two possible solutions there for you. But uh, so thanks for tuning in. Stick around and visit us again at chemical-concepts.com.